Last time we switched from the variable psi and eta that we derived earlier from x and p to two new operators, a and a dagger. The first thing one should do after proposing a new set of operators is to check their commutation relations. By the way, since we will write a lot of operators in the future, we'll drop the hat on them for simplicity. Two new operators mean four commutation relations we have to check. There's a a, a a dagger, a dagger a, and a dagger a dagger. These two are trivial, since every operator commutes with itself. And if we switch the ingredients of a commutator, we pick up a minus sign. So in practice, we only have to calculate one commutator, a a dagger. This yields a a dagger minus a dagger a. And after inserting the definitions in terms of psi and eta, we end up with the commutator of psi and eta. Well, good thing we calculated this last time. So we end up with plus 1. This means the commutator a dagger a is minus 1. Finally, let's talk about the use of knowing the commutation relations. The commutator specifies whether two expressions commute, that is, if you can always exchange them or if there is an additional term. Look at the definition of a commutator. If you rearrange terms, we can interpret this as follows. We start with a a dagger. If we wanted to switch the places, we have to add the commutator, a a dagger. See? Same order. If the commutator is zero, we can just switch the expressions. An example of this would be the multiplication of two numbers. However, with operators, we often have a non-vanishing commutator. Like, for example, for a and a dagger, this commutator is plus one. This reasoning can also be applied to anti-commutators. The anti-commutator of two expressions, x and y, is defined as xy plus yx. Let's imagine we have two operators, b and b dagger, which anti-commute. If two operators anti-commute, you get a minus sign every time you switch their places. This is the case, for instance, with fermions. The anti-commutator of b and b dagger specifies whether b and b dagger simply anti-commute or if there is an additional term.